Hey guys, today I want to answer a very interesting question I got from one of you guys last weekend. There is one thing that always confuses the heck out of me in Cubase, and that is when to use Waves Mono versus Stereo Flavors of their plugins. Could you maybe make a video on this? Mono stereo rotting is probably one of my weak points in Cubase. I often end up with mono tracks, guitar vocals being wrongly stereo balanced because of a mono stereo plugin. I almost think it's best to always route the stereo group channel and then use a stereo effect, especially when it comes to things like reverb, chorus, which work in stereo. All right, so let's get to it. Hey guys, Chris here from Mixdown Online. Now, if this is your first time here and you want to improve your music production, mixing, recording, mastering skills in your home studio, click on the subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Now, let's get into our main subject. Okay, so what we have here is a mono guitar recording. So let's have a listen. Okay, very simple stuff. So now there's nothing on the track right now. So if I um, go into my inserts right here, what I have if I want to load a, a reverb uh, from Waves, okay? So the question was about a plugin from Waves, uh, which has a mono stereo option, okay? So when you load a uh, Wave plugin, like something like a reverb, for example, you often have the option of selecting a mono stereo option. Okay, so this is exactly what I'm doing here. I selected this mono stereo option, but in Cubase, whatever option you select from a Wave plugin or another plugin that has that option uh, will play as a mono uh, effect, okay, basically. So if we listen to that reverb, okay, I'm just going to bring the uh, wet and dry to 50%. Okay, and what we get is a mono reverb. Okay, so I inserted that reverb directly on the mono track and the track stays mono. Okay, so that effect, even if you insert a stereo effect, it's going to come out as a mono effect. Like right here, I have the Fab Filter, uh, which uh, I think this one is a stereo. Um, yeah, the Pro R is the stereo option here, okay? Um, insert it into a mono track and it's going to come out as a mono reverb. Okay, so now the mix is at 50%, around the same thing as the other. Dry. And wet. Okay, so it comes out as a mono effect. Okay, so that's the way Cubase works. Now, if you want to get that effect to be stereo, what you need to do is uh, basically uh, just create a, a Nox, okay, an effects channel track and insert your stereo plugin, your stereo reverb or whatever uh, whatever other effect you want to you want to work with into that effects channel track, okay? So, if I just I'm just going to bring that up. So, I already did so. It's right here. Now I'm just going to deactivate the inserts out of my mono track and I'm just going to make sure the okay the uh, the signal is sent to that effects channel track so that's perfect now what we're going to do here is insert that same reverb okay the wave reverb um, which has a stereo option of course <laughs> So now for wet and dry, it's just 100% wet uh, since it's on a uh, FX channel track. Okay, so if you want to get that effect, that stereo vibe out of a mono track, just route it directly. Um, just send your signal into a, um, an FX channel track, a stereo FX channel track, just to be precise. So don't load a mono FX channel track, but make sure you load, you create yourself a stereo FX channel track before you can uh, you can insert your um, R verb or other stereo plugins okay reverbs or delays choruses and stuff like that now the reason why we have mono to stereo versions of plugins it's basically because there's some DAWs like Pro Tools for example that supports that meaning that if you insert a mono to stereo version of a plugin on a mono track uh, that track will be converted into a stereo track so this way you'll have the stereo effect of that plugin so I have 
have the Pro Tools 10 here on my system. So let's open that up and check how that works. Okay, now we're in Pro Tools. Now I have the same kind of setup. I have my mono track right here, and this one is mono, okay, like the one in Cubase. And uh, the way I can know it's mono, it's because of the pan knob right here. And opposed to the one, just uh, the effects uh, track right here, which is the uh, auxiliary bus um, that is in stereo. So you see two pan knobs, okay, which means it's a, a stereo aux or a stereo track. Now, if I insert, a plugin, let's say a reverb, and I just uh, select uh, anything here, like the D verb, for example. I have a mono, I have a mono to stereo option, and I'm just going to select this one, and there you go. My track is now a stereo track. Okay, so my mono signal will actually go into that uh, plugin and come out as a stereo track okay so that is a very cool feature out of pro tools and this is something that cubase doesn't have unfortunately because that can be very useful um especially if we take for example you have your mono guitar track and you want to insert a guitar amp a virtual amp which has some some delays and reverbs within the amp that can sound pretty cool like guitar rig for example that has a lot of internal effects that can sound cool now if you insert that guitar rig into a um uh, a mono track, you're going to end up having all these effects in mono. Uh, by having that concept of transforming the mono track into stereo when you insert that kind of plugin, I mean, it gives you the um, the chance to easily have a stereo feed out of that track. So Pro Tools has the thumbs up for this feature. And then let's go back into Cubase because I want to show you how I manage uh, the uh, the example of the guitar rig stuff Okay, uh, that I was just saying. I'm just going to show you how I manage that in Cubase. Okay, now I'm just going to go back to my mono track. So when I use a guitar amp, okay, so let's load. Uh, let's go into distortion and I'm going to load the VST. Not this one, that's the bass amp. I'm looking for the, the VST amp rack. Now, if I load this track and I just play my guitar track. <laughs> Okay, there's some effects I can add, okay, into post effects. Uh, let's go with the reverb. So this is a plugin that I would use as an insert, okay, not as a sand effect. Um, so I have uh, like virtual amps that I can uh, select from, uh, some cabinets and stuff like that. And my post effects, like in this case, I can actually craft my sound with reverb, delay and stuff like that. So um, now I would love to have these, uh, these effects stereo. So the general guitar sound would love to have it stereo. So since I'm not capable of transforming my mono track into stereo, like in Pro Tools, what I need to do is to create a group, okay, a stereo group and I have it right here, and I call that group amp, okay? And this is where I'm gonna insert my guitar amp. Okay, so if I look at my inserts, I'm just gonna deactivate the one that is on my mono track, and we're just gonna focus on the one that is inserted into the group track. Now, I just need to route the output of my, of my mono track to the input of the group track called amp. Now if I play the track, this is what I get, okay? So now my guitar track is basically the group right here. And now I can craft my sound. And the effects like reverb and delays will be in stereo. All right, so I hope that helps. Now, if you're using another DAW than Pro Tools and Cubase, let me know in the comments below how that works for you. And if you have any other questions and other comments, leave them down below as well. Now, I'm going to start doing some more Q&A videos pretty soon. Now, I have a special email for you, so you can reach me at info at mixdownonline.com info at mixdownonline.com so if you have any specific questions you would love me to answer in these uh, Q&A videos just write me an email I'm going to accumulate all the questions and produce some Q&A videos for you guys all right so this is it for this week and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to share and like that helps me a lot all right guys I'll see you next time